What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to be showcasing this automation right here, which is going to help you automatically categorize leads inside your master inbox. And this is going to be super relevant for anyone who wants to create custom lead categories or someone who wants to further refine the existing auto lead categorization that smart lead offers. And by the way, if you're unaware of how to automatically categorize your lead leads, you simply click on one of your smart lead campaigns, navigate over to the settings section at the top right hand of the screen and simply intelligently categorize the different categories. However, there's on some occasions going to be some mistakes inside my agency i use ClickUp, and so anytime a lead is automatically categorized by smart lead as positive i send it over to ClickUp, and i use the positive filters that i already have inside here so i map them all however on some occasions i'm going to realize that it's been properly in, in improperly categorized and so i'm going to be moving it over to the archive section and this is no fault of smart lead because they get like hundreds and thousands of emails sent on a daily basis in different languages so it's really hard to take into account every single scenario but you can do it right using this automation right here and looking at the reply here it says don't need the sales but amazing graphic it has positive sen sentiment but it's still not interested right and looking at another one here it's going to be a similar type of idea. Love the approach. We're all set at this point in time, but should this change, I'll be sure to reach reach out to you. And one last one for, for just final measure. We're good right now. Thanks so much for reaching out. Anyways, one of the reasons why this might happen, by the way, is because the previous emails are also in the same thread. And so all of this information is in the same thread. And so despite the fact that they mentioned something here, we're looking at all of the conversations. And so we're gonna be taking care of that in this section right here. And so let's dive into the automations and let me show you how these are gonna work. So the first thing you want to do to get started, you want to create your custom lead categories. And so these are the lead categories that I have for my agency. And this is a few additional ideas that you can consider building for yourself. One of them is no longer at company. So instead of anybody who's no longer at their company being categorized as out of office, you can have a specific category for that. Future requests, people who want you to reach out in the future, pricing, portfolio, website, any types of requests like that, you can put a category for themselves subsequence based categories and so if you have a subsequence for a specific type of thing that's up to you you can customize that category to be like that and then i like to use this one right here which is based on outcomes and next steps and so when when you recall i have closed and transferred closed and sequenced these are based on outcomes that i have for my agency and so whenever a meeting is booked we can change it to that whenever it's closed in sequence, closed in one, all of those things. And so these are some ideas. Obviously, there's an infinite amount of ideas. And all of those are going to have custom descriptions that you will get to set up. So getting into it, what you're going to need to do is create your lead categories. And once that's been done, you will use this simple module right here this module is going to fetch all of those categories and allow you to get the lead i to get the category ids and so let's grab my api key which is going to be found in the settings page on the your profile section i'm going to copy that and then i'm going to paste it inside the automation right here and it's going to be a get we're going to parse response at the bottom here and then we're going to click ok once that's been done, we're going to be returning a bunch of information on each of those lead categories. As you can see, the ID for interested is one, meeting request two, out of office six. However, I've also created some other lead categories such as closed and transferred and closed and sequenced, each with different IDs. And just to show you an example, let's go ahead and create one of these other categories. So no longer at company, I'm gonna create this right here it's going to be uh, neutral, I guess not positive. And then let's create it and let's rerun this right here. 
And so if you recall, we had 10 uh, uh, array, uh, arrays returned. Now we've got 11. And that one is no longer at company. And we've got the ID. What you're going to be using this ID for is pasting it inside this section right here, which is the final module. And this module is what we're going to be using to change the IDs. And so to start, let me go ahead and explain how every single one of these modules work. And then finally, we're going to be updating the lead category. And so I've added all of that information that we're going to need for this automation, such as the campaign IDs, lead ID, my API key, and the lead category. As I mentioned, the lead category is going to be coming from this section, which we can simply paste over here. But since we're going to be using ChatGPT, the output of the ChatGPT prompt is actually going to be the ID, which is going to come over here. So. The next thing we want to do is we want to create a webhook inside Smart Lead, and you can choose two types of uh, webhooks. One of the webhooks you can use is the email reply, and what this is going to do is anytime an email is replied, it's going to be sent to this automation in order for it to be categorized. And we're going to have a filter there that checks whether it's already categorized or not, and if it's not, we're going to be updating that. The other way you can do it is simply use the automatic smart lead categorization. So as I did mention, smart lead already has an AI categorization uh, component. You can use that and simply send the messages to chat GPT. And within your prompt, all you're going to say is something like this message was categorized as information request, but does it seem more like any of these other categories? So you can say no longer at company and future request, et cetera. And so if it if it aligns closer to a future request, change it to future request. If it aligns more to an information request, change it to an information request. And so that's the way that I personally prefer to do it. But as I mentioned, you can do it in whatever way you like. Both of those two are going to be working. And so just for testing purposes, let's leave it lead category updated and let me set this up. So done, whatever. <laughs> I'm thinking of a name, but I don't need one. So I'm going to set this up and let's go. So I've added it. I've added it. And now we will look at this reply and use this one as a test. And so um, actually, did I use the all the settings. So I put, I want to use no longer at company as well. So we'll just randomly assume that this is no longer at company. And so when I change this to no longer at company, it's going to fire off a webhook right here, um, which is going to send the data. And we've got all of the data, we've got the conversation history, but we also see the last reply and it is in HTML text. What this module is going to be doing is parsing through that HTML text and excluding anything that was was um, was was previous, like like the previous threads. And so let me go ahead and rerun that to show you what 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 this is doing. So we go back to the master inbox. We categorize this as no longer at company. And now when we look at the text, we've got all of this. We also see the signature, but it stops at the get outlook for iOS. However, when we were looking at this section, get outlook for iOS happens, and then this is all here. And so let me remove this section. So the first split, first split um, to show you what it looks like if we don't have this section in here. And by the way, that, that what you've just seen, it's an iterative process. And so you want to create what I've just had there. But if you're talking about um, conversations that are happening in different languages, you can do that. Alternatively, you can use chat GPT to just say like, analyze the content of this message. And if it contains any of those keywords, then you know that it's a previous thread and we only want to focus on the latest thread. And so once again, we were talking about get outlook for iOS, but now we can see the previous message, which is not relevant for our prompt. So that is 
um, the first two sections than the first two modules. Now, what we're going to need to do is use chat GPT to, to, uh, analyze the content of that and then output an ID. And so when we go into chat GPT, you can use 3.5, you can use any models that you want. It's really up to you, but the way that you're going to type this out is going to depend on the route that you've taken. And so if you've decided that you want to go with the lead category route, you just want to say these, this, this is the lead category, uh, the lead category, which, which would be found over here. So this is the lead category and analyze the content of this message and determine whether it meets, it, it fits with this category more than every other category here. And so you can put other categories and obviously you're going to need to refine what I've just said, but other categories and how you're going to write these other categories is you could say interested, you could say meeting request. <clears throat> Um, and then you want to put these inside brackets. And so we've got interested, which would be one and inside the bracket for interested, uh, oops, that is a mistake inside the bracket for interested. You would put a one and inside the bracket for meeting requests, we would go back to this automation right here and we would, uh, find meeting request, And then we would put a two and same thing, right? we would put a two for, for, for all of the different categories, we would find their IDs, write the names, right? So no longer at company, we write the name, we input the ID and what we're going to ask at the end of this prompt is output the number. I need to get faster at typing cause I'm, <laughs> I'm really slow. Just output the number in between the brackets of the category that best fits that message. And so what that's going to output, like I said, this is going to be an iterative process. And so it's not going to work the first time. You're just going to need to it keep iterating through the prompt. But what it's going to do at the end of it is output a single number, which you will then put on the category ID over here. And what that's going to do is automatically update the lead category to the correct one. And as I mentioned, these are some of the different lead categories that you can consider using, but obviously there's an infinite amount of lead categories. And if you aren't already consider using the built-in auto categorization with smart lead and see how that goes. As mentioned, there's going to be some misses, but more often than not, it's really good. And so. Hope this video was helpful. And if you guys have any questions, please leave a comment down below. And if this was helpful, leave a like and we'll see you in another video. Cheers.